I'm a musician, film file, pie addict. Usually if, if I go out in the evenings, then it usually means that my day has been pretty good. Or when I go out, I know I'm gonna be back in time to knock out the stuff that I didn't get to during the day, as far as like music-wise or cre just creative, creatively. Today is like a kind of out of whack day, like, I'm gonna be up late because um, I'm gonna I'm gonna catch this show, and then I'm gonna have to put in some some sort of work when I get home. And then some days I may not be um, so good at like balancing my time, so. I spend like all day like practicing and like no time with like the family. Like me and my wife will talk and we'll you know decide then if we want to venture out with the kids to do something like go to the park or a movie or whatever. Communication with her is like the big thing on balancing everything out. Noise. I've just always been a night owl, so that switch is always on to just like go out. If I had a, if I've had a good day, then sometimes I'll go catch a show, try to support. Uh, whoever's playing if I can um, maybe I'll go check out a movie or I'll go to like a, a comedy thing growing up the film music was like the other big thing that I was really into and I had a little Magnavox tape recorder that I would like put up to the TV whenever the film credits would roll and that was like something that I always did and always had around. I feel like a lot of the writing that I do is based on like short films that I make up in my head, you know, they're, they're, they're like soundtracks for films that don't exist. is one percentile of my communication. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm 360 with this whole thing that we call music. The writer has a different job. Uh, whoever's uh, reading the, the piece, take that written word and give it some life. Give the line an expression. Give something to it that would make you appreciate I want to make something that doesn't just sound good the first time you ever hear it. I want it to sound good after you listen to it a hundred times. Ten years from now, I want it to sound good.
kids inspire me and you know, whatever I, whatever it is I'm creating. So uh, their inspiration alone is gonna make it whatever comes out unique to me. There is a piece that uh, we play in concurrence every now and then where I'm playing the voice of my grandmother from a few years ago before she died. We did cotton all day from like six in the morning till about four. Usually we quit about four or five. Uh, and she is just talking about her uh, days as a young mother when sharecropping was still happening from North Alabama. We would take the corn to the meal and grind it into meal. And she would just tell me these stories about uh, picking cotton from 6 a.m. until 5 p.m. sometimes with my dad as a young baby in a burlap sack with her as she was doing it. We moved to Athens on Saturday and got on the truck on Monday. I have that recording on my phone and I, I listen to it periodically. Um, just whenever I'm feeling uh, tired or like I'm, I don't have energy to do something, it's, it's just a reminder that if she was able to do that, work all day in the heat um, for not much money, then I can push myself to practice, to spend time with the family, work, and I can, I can balance, I can balance that. It, it helps me with my perspective of what hard work is, and it, it gives me a little in initiative to just put in that extra effort to try to make it all work.